Hey, I'm Kathy. I'm the Tidy Tutor, and I'm going to talk about linen closets, okay? What the heck is with a linen closet anymore? You know, we don't need a linen closet anymore, and I'll tell you why. Because we don't need tons of linen anymore. The reason that years ago they needed so much linen was because no one had a washer and dryer. And you ever notice like in those old movies, you always see the line outside with all the sheets hanging on them because, you know, you had bed bugs then, you had children who peed in the bed and there was no, I mean, of course now you have children that might pee in the bed, but there, was, there were no washing machines. So you needed to have a, a, a store of linens to take care of situations to have on hand to use. We don't have that problem anymore. You don't need tons of sheets and, and um, pillowcases and tablecloths anymore. This is what you need. You need two sets of sheets for each bed. One to have on the bed and one to have for a change. So what you do is you keep the set that is, um, you know, the second set folded between the mattress and the box spring. And then you keep the first set on the bed. When you take it off to change them, you put this one on. When they're, get done, when they're done washing, you put them underneath. Um, you do that for everyone's bed. You do not need a linen closet to hold your sheets. You should only have two per bed. When one gets worn, throw it out, get a new one, okay? Um, tablecloths. They get stored in the dining room in one of the drawers that you have in the dining room for your buffet or your um, china closet. You don't need a ton of these, okay? Just a few. When you are done with one, get a new one. Um, let's see, what else? Towels. How many towels do you really need? What I did when my kids were old enough to wash their own clothes, which in my opinion is when they could reach the lever, the, the knob, the dial on the washing machine, they're old enough to wash their own clothes. They had a hook for their bedroom, in their bedroom, with a towel, and it was their towel, and they each had two, and they each had a color. So I had five kids, red, blue, green, yellow, white. They each had a color. This was their towel. So nobody could go and use somebody else's towel because they didn't wash theirs. You know, you could use your towel, hang it up, use it again tomorrow. It's you, you determine how often you can use a towel before you want to wash it. Two days, three days, okay? And you wash your towel. Now, you only need maybe like four guest towels and maybe one to be nice on the side of the you know, in the bathroom to look pretty. You know, that's about it. A couple of hand towels for, you know, um, guests. And, and there you go, okay? And your linen closet could be used for such great storage, like, like games, um, your sewing things, um, extra paper towels and extra things that you, that you get because you buy a little bit more because of a sale, extra toilet paper. Um, it could be used for, um, office supplies, things like that, okay? Your linen closet shouldn't be used for linen, not anymore. Okay, I'm Kathy, I'm the Tidy Tutor. Thanks for listening to my linen closet tip.